Hello and welcome back to Arch Adventures and our couple's gaming horror stream of The Devil in Me. Now, let's see how it, well, let's see who we kill basically. <laughs> Hello, let's go. Your things will be popping out in the stream <laughs> on the TV, the same as we're playing. <laughs> how many people can I survive today? Keep alive. <laughs> Make survive. <laughs> so some of that was English. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Play alone. Let's continue the story. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough. Oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, AKA Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally, the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city. The number grew significantly, nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh... I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m., be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. We're in. I'll get them there, I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right, let's load up, guys. All right, got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave them behind it. Right, you're right. This is gonna be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip! Huzzah! Woohoo! Hooray. 
This is going to be great, guys. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this. Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may this share part information of the that can affect my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. If this dude is so rich, shouldn't he have service or something? This guy gonna help? No, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There, from on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great. We so is everyone ready over the mist? For the game start. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. But we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. Right. That's okay. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. Anything for the shot, right? Warning. Fifth erosion. Too serious. The warning These cliffs are subject to erosion and may collapse into deep water that will... Nah, this sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Hard disagree. 
Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say, um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? About, about getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging. To so work Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we do. Okay, I won't lie. I was hoping being here all remote and away from the world that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attractions. In memory of the extensive great storm of May 3rd, 1907, in which 187 lives were lost, the crew and passengers of the sea of the SS Cassipio, which crashed into the rocks at the base of these cliffs. Hey, when we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off. Go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours, you know. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on that. You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well... No, Mrs. Bonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job? <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to the job. Let's see what these caves entail then. If I can get up to the top. Breathing. Oh, hello. Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin, you know, just hanging out. Maybe it's part of some old museum display or something. Right, that's probably it.
far drive to there. You coming? Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. How is that going to fit into the shot? I just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. Are you sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly... We agreed to let that drop on the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Oh, well, I didn't find this when I played it. And pick it up again and turn it around. Do you remember the thing? It says every hidden thing. Fish factory to close. Exciting times. Have a look around. You've got the other one that used in that area as well. So I remember double fishing. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Locked tight. Come on, there must be another way. You sure? No, I'm optimistic.
This looks pretty old. This one. So that means that there might be other things that we haven't seen because I didn't see what you saw just now. I only saw there. So that's another reason to keep playing this game, even if one of us has already played some of it, because there's always something that you end up missing, and we still need to find those little, um, uh, what they call called? Right, can I give you a hint? Maybe. What's that? Just some old coin. Oh, that's what? Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Yep. Find the penny. Pick it up. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I, I love that he's British because he thought you off the British so bad. Well. A little breaking and entering. Christ, what the hell is that? Quick five. L two. Nice to meet you too. So let's carry on exploring the flight. Where does it come from? 
Und jetzt müssen wir nicht. Fake-Missaubung. Oh, man jetzt gearbeitet hat. Das ist das. Genau das. Ja, genau. <laughs> Maybe I should when she says on screen. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. <laughs> Some hobby. Let's examine this. For me, it didn't look very appetizing. What in God's name is this? Ah! It moved. What? That way, maybe. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, there's our ride. Come on, we better get back. Is that him? I don't know. We just had the one call. Uh, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin, Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. 
pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. They have met Gracie Dumet. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that turned out? Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. So where's everyone's support on the game so far? Have you played it? Get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe, but we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt, so please, take care. Looks like things are buttoned up tight around here, you guys. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. Slow, deep breaths, Charles. Try not to cough up a diseased lung. I'll be fine. Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. You don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, OK? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lona Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a tag then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I will say, I don't actually know if she... Stop I'm trying to make me like you. Final, if she is involved in anything, but I personally picked up from that first one and thought that was extremely suspicious. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously. Yeah, but you did film him a little bit, right? Mr. Dumet is being really restrictive. I noticed. 
I want you to go look around without him knowing. The man is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah! Oh, oh, oh my damn it! What happened? You okay? Oh. Did you get your ego again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh my god, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Hey, can I ask you something and get a straight answer? You know, whether you're making a smart-ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Fine. Oh, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. If there's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. Best, we'll get some nice B roll. That's not gonna save our asses. Bit of a scramble. Watch your head.
no point just standing around. Short spread. You need a spark. So maybe that can be short spark. Let me know if you want some help. Trying to help get around this tree. But also, like, you need to learn the controls so that we don't kill people. So. <laughs> Very important that you also learn, but obviously, uh, if you want, if you want you to, have told us to dress for a track. Track. Yeah. Yeah. Try not to fall and die. I don't want to see Mark cry. Thanks for the concern. Really. Wonder where this goes. Straight up and down the hill. Yeah. But what's on the other end? Do you live out here on this island? Get down with your family. My wife is. She died. Oh no. Mr. Wrong Dumet, wife, is this an actual palm tree? <laughs> See, it's this hard, is isn't it? This place gets to you. I, That's what I, I don't think so. The, the cutscenes in this game, at this point, <clears> they're so slow that you kind of become too confident. You forget that you're playing it. You think you're just watching it. Maybe this is the way.
Need to keep looking. If I wanted around. to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not a job job description. Is it here? But, um, I find that not good. I find it back. Reminds me of shit summer camps. Okay, if I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. Hey Ross, how are you? Hello Ross, welcome back. Haven't seen you in a while. You see the control panel? It's trashed. I don't even think there's power. It's great to hear. We are doing good, thank you. We are just having a little gaming session. How has this day been for you?
A pizza to you as well, right? A pizza? <coughs> <coughs> What about over there? Maybe we can get this thing working. Jamie, can you fix this? I'm not going to lie, these get really complicated <laughs> because it looks like it makes sense, but there will be parts that are less so. But now I'm looking at it, there's something that I've noticed on here that I didn't notice before, and that is that if you look at some of the arrows, they're a lot darker than the others, aren't they? Why doing the dark ones first?
gonna. Yay! God damn, I'm brilliant!
let's carry on the game. Sorry about the little interval there. Oh, good job hiding. Your dad missed this for us. <laughs> oh! Interesting. Very interesting. What happened when you didn't make it? I can't tell you. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's a stiletto which we, um... Yeah. Let us show a woman going to hospital in the island, both are here. The hill next is the very rich man. Around here. Wonder what these are. Oh, oh god, that's so much better. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. They found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're going to find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Coming or what? Uh-huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. Just go. 
<laughs> oh my god, relax, Mark. You good? Oh man. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it though? I shouldn't have looked. It's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. Come on. I'll help. That's it. Look. It's fine. I'm not looking. Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. This place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Hello. Wonder who you are. What are you doing? Going up the hotel. Please not go to the hotel. Okay, so I go in the window of the hotel. Who do you think it is? A young girl. <laughs> Gee, I would have never guessed. His daughter, maybe. I, I saw a little girl up there. What about a hologram? Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Jamie teased Kate about her fame when talking about the girl I saw. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Man, this is brilliant. Whoa. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the It's desk, so weird. Please? You don't get the feeling that the hotel uh, was on an island this originally. This isn't everything. So did yeah. they rebuild it in a I'm different sure location? The is here. Because I'm it said sure they were in Chicago Jones. originally. And it definitely looked, out. when you look through the window, it looked like there were still streets outside. So I think they stripped it and rebuilt it somewhere else. Blue backpack. Yeah. Or six. Settle in breakfast. and I'll meet you yeah. all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumet, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. Oh, there you are. 
busy, busy, busy. You've been out and about all day. And I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day and not a word from you. You didn't like the booth. And I don't actually know, just let you know. And there's a bit of back, well, backstory or whatever when they was in Chicago. Could it be that woman she actually survived and she's she saw torture and stuff? She um This is no Oh <laughs> decided Sorry. She wanted to You're do jumpy. An exit. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw, a little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? It sounds like her. Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't I be scared song. Sing it and I won't <laughs> but it can't be, be because that's not. <laughs> Doesn't really It's work. all present. I bet. Yeah, but she might survive. Uh, I back think then. I'm around the corner. 183? She would be old now, wouldn't she? This is me. Okay. What, you mean the one that got her throat done? Okay. Yes. Good luck out there. Oh, I thought you meant her on the screen. Oh, no. I mean, maybe she did survive. Scream if you need Scream. me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. Oh, I said young girl. It's just a half, dude. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you. You that sure what did i say actually it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing oh i was awake i was reading kate's social media posts Ugh, that bitch okay don't hate me but she's been kind of nice to me i mean i think she's more upset about mark than she lets on lies she's a robot uh where's the bathroom wait what Old school. Ah, uh, gross school. What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows where you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Uh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on a hammer before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. Gotta stick on my own if you want to share a lip cooties. Thanks, but I can find mine. Where'd it go? Uh... It's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> mm. 
You okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? No. Revenge? Because good job. You sure you're okay? Because I wonder what would happen if we played yeah, the game and just never did anything. Like they say nothing things. Good. Obviously, we'd have to like run and try and save ourselves. No. But I wonder what would happen if we only ever. But said seriously, anything. it's not your fault. I just I I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know. I, like I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but dust and allergies and I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, cozy. <laughs> you gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting... Oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. Oh. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. <laughs> oh, sorry, the wine is trash. I totally lied about that. Really? Uh-huh. Sorry, what I said earlier. I didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Or that I don't think you're cute, too. It's just, um... What are you doing? I, oh, my God. I, uh... I... <laughs> oh, you bitch! I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Oh, Jamie. Right, so there's always consequences for kissing. That explains our relationship. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. What do you think of the graphic? Oh, good. Who is that? Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me 10, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. OK, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. So we're all done with what we were talking about? Great. Cool. 
Good luck finding your rooms. Where the hell are they going? No, it showed a number on the side. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. I think I've seen that number. Breaking somewhere. down walls, mm -hmm. navigating mm -hmm. the maze of anxiety. And can I just say, I guess it's fucking kidding. So if you go, I think wrong, she I thought it might help with your stress. <laughs> Absolutely it? not. I'm not people who died on I'm the not boat stressed. Okay. No. Do I look fucking stressed? People who died on the boat. Uh, nope. That was rhetorical. Well, your cards record. came out nice mm -hmm. enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing. Makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. <laughs> Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Did you find them? I, no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and, uh, uh, this. Notice of eviction. The studio? I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another. It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that. Are you saying somebody took them? I, I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient... You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. It's my spare cap. Exactly the same? Well, it suits me. What's weird about that? I'm best signing author of Shroud of Innocence. Comes a thrilling reimagining of one of history's most miracle, miracle, Kill them all, God will recognize his own. July 22nd, 1209. In just one day, the peaceful city of Beers has been plunged into massacre. Trying to see the Simon de Montfant is determined to purge the city of all practising 
Ephesus by the Mesoretic means necessary teaching the church of St. Mary Magdalene's head in Camden, a last remaining group of Cathar Perfect. Cave have hidden away, but can't find, can't hide forever. The youngest perfect father, Esperanza, has come up with a desperate plan to escape. With the help of his lifelong friend, Catholic the Narak, but it all hinges on a fine balance of bravery and faith. Dreadful and thrilling history come alive with the fiery that is fine as hell. So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean, you'd tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but... It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but... You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, okay? Mr. Morales, good evening. Thank you for allowing me to contact you directly. Your publisher said that you were very keen to hear from me. It seems we have a mutual interest. I have spent several years constructing the ultimate Holmes tourist experience by faithfully creating the World Fair Hotel. We have not yet opened to the public as there are punishing taxes to complete and I consider a man of your knowledge to provide insight that is invaluable for our official opening. Therefore, I invite you to visit the hotel for the weekend. This experience is designed to accommodate groups of five guests, so I intend extend the invitation to four friends or family of your choosing. I must insist that out is publicly announced, so please only invite guests that you can trust to do so. I hope you can accept my invitation. Please reply to confirm your attendance and the four additional guests that you would like to bring. Should you accept, a limousine will pick you up and your guests up. 7 p.m. this Friday underneath the railway bridge at the corner of F. Wallace Avenue and W. Sixford and Inglewood, Chicago. If you're not, if I'm deliberately, I'm sure you'll find the experience very interesting indeed. Sincerely, Grayson Dumet. Hi, Grayson. Thanks. I'd be glad to come along. I'm sure I can get my wife and two girls to join me. My brother France is in town and at the minute, so that'll make up five. I trust I'm with all my life, so no sweat over confidential. See you Friday, Joe. Ooh, I 
just think I want to do something that happens like later on in the game that I hadn't thought of before. Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Okay. As soon as this they checked out, then the next day they have more people checking out. So you get to the bottom of this one, they haven't checked out. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. We should count up how many days it is from now to see how long ago it was that they were here. What's the date now? Um, no, I um, it will come up in a minute when it because when we swap the new person, it's supposed to be the date. Oh no way! I'm being silly. We've checked it. <laughs> That's us. That makes sense. I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that are missing and not our gear. Montgomery Road, Silver Spring, MD 20, 1995, August 10th, 1992. Mr. Mundy, thank you for choosing Twilight Prayer as a residence for your mother. Lucinda is already setting in and very well. We encourage visitors as often as possible in this. Before I continue again to see Linda Price. Didn't know. Could this be old on people? Mm -hmm. I must have 
Maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Jackpot. Erin, I found the key. So did our key get put there when someone picked up bank? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it wasn't there a minute ago because it didn't come up the same as the camera. So I'm about to stop that and then back to my stuff. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Hello? Mr. Dumet? Was that a hit? Ooh, I didn't find the first time, so well done. Where'd you find that?
Phone can, Friday, 17th of November, Chester Bell, Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. Electronic. Ha! That's what amazing. will it be, Mr. Demet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. No fucking way. I don't suppose you've got any spare change back there, have you? Thought not.
Next round's on me. Promise. No, no, please! I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. Come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah. If we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you have to take one extra train to get there. I turned down that job because that would have left you alone with Trunk. How cruel do you think I am? I'm being serious. So am I. Fine, I'll drop it. Great, let me grab the camera. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? Yeah. I don't remember. Like, I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. We're hitting the golden hour. We should be able to find a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why you camera dorks call it that. It's 15 minutes at best. Yes and no, if you have the right reflector. 15 minutes 
at the moles. <laughs> Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the right, place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's mm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. Yeah, just saying. All right, guys, we're going to call it a night now because it is coming on to 11 o'clock. Thank you once again for supporting the channel and supporting us. And hope you enjoyed us watching Devil and Me. Please comment if you have played it before and what you think to it so far, if it's the first time you've seen it being played. I am really enjoying it. It's quite fun. A bit jumpy at times, but also makes you think on your feet. I'm really enjoying it. So thank you everyone for who's come along. And I hope you have a good evening or day or morning, wherever you are. I'm sure we will see you again. Bye.